Now, if you remember, at the end of class, I got to this brain freeze. So now I'm recording the end of this lecture properly. How do we figure out the bearing of the ocean current? Well, we want to start with, here's the beginning of the ocean current. Let's draw a north line from here. So if we draw a north line from the start of the ocean current, then we can make an observation. This line right here, the blue line, if we were to extend it, let's extend this blue line. So this blue line right here is forming a 39 degrees with the north line. Well, this angle right here then would have to be congruent to this angle right here because these are corresponding angles. You have parallel lines cut by the transversal. The, the purple lines are the north lines and they are parallel. The blue line is the transversal. So this up here is now a 39 degree angle. So all that's left to figure out the bearing is to figure out the conclusion of this pink angle, okay? We want to see this pink angle, this nice big fat pink angle. We know that part of it is 39 degrees. What's the other part of it? Well, the other part of it is actually the supplement of the angle inside the triangle. So when we found this 158.4 degrees, this is good. We're on the right track because now we have a linear pair. These two angles together, the one inside the triangle and the one immediately outside the triangle, form a linear pair, which means that this other part of the pink angle is going to be the supplement of 158.4, which is 21.6. So now we just need to add together 39 and 21.6. and we get 60.6. Now let's go back to the screen, and you can see here that we have 60.6 degrees west of north, just like I had drawn in my diagram. So we could practice another one of these at the end of class on Tuesday, if that would be helpful to you. Um, otherwise, hopefully this cleared up the misunderstanding. All right, thanks guys.